by the mass media. A medium is just a channel of communication, a means, in other words, send and receive messages. A message in this context being any kind of information, from a phone call, through viewing a film, to reading a book. We are, of course, surrounded by very familiar examples of media in our everyday lives. From newspapers and magazines, through television and radio, to film, video, mobile phones and computers. By mass, we're obviously talking about the potential to reach large numbers of people. And while these terms are somewhat imprecise, how many, for example, is a large number, we use the idea of a mass medium, such as television, to differentiate it from other types of media, such as a letter, that simply involve one-to-one, -one, or at best one-to-few, communication. However we actually define the concept of a mass audience, it's not something we need to bother with too much at present, since, as we'll see, it's probably going to be easier to define a mass medium in terms of what it isn't, something greater than a one-to-one -one or one-to-few medium. Up until the mid-15th century, most forms of text were written by hand. Block printing did exist at the time, however it was expensive and time-consuming since each word, phrase, or picture were on a different block. Literature was thus unavailable to the common man, and literacy rates were low. In 1450, Gutenberg invented the solution, the printing press. The printing presses made it possible to use and reuse the separate pieces of type to print on paper. Production of media increased immediately and the cost was lowered. Mass media was born. There was now a medium that would reach a mass audience and the impact was tremendous. Print media includes all forms of media that are printed on an object. Print media updates us with the latest news and new information and also contributes to the enhancement of our vocabulary and improves literacy rates. Newspapers are the best for developing reading habits in children. Through the print media, they provide the general public with a platform to give updates about their parts of the city, exchange their views over different issues that the society faces, and share their thoughts on a larger scale. Communication was facilitated and messages to the public were received quicker as a result of the printing press. Print media is closely related to politics. The media influences the political landscape as much as politicians influence media. With print media, information was quickly available to voters. This information was often propaganda. However, it was the only source of information and therefore it had to be trusted. The media was powerful enough to shape a voter's view and thus choose the winner of an election. The introduction of newspapers fueled public demand for, inf for information and brought forth the introduction of different forms of media. Media is everywhere. It involves any form of mass communication that reaches people widely. In today's world, most of us will grow up in a world where the media is unavoidable. Our parents and, pre and other previous generations were not exposed to this sort of influence and therefore were not susceptible to the impact that mass media may have on individuals. In recent years, there has been speculation as to what those impacts might be that we are undergoing right now. Research, research has shown that children are even more at risk to being influenced by the media. Ethics in print media is used to establish credibility and to distinguish between what is right and what is wrong, whatever the case may be. Being ethical allows you to combine your values with your responsibilities to decide what to do in questionable situations. For example, a journalist who sees it as his responsibility to produce a true and factual story for the public will place a high value on getting the truth and will not sacrifice doing something illegal to get it. 
print media is often victim to a lack of ethics. For example, photos are often manipulated to show women with thin waists and large breasts. Another issue is plagiarism. Work is often taken from other authors without any credit given. Writers also find themselves in situations where their interests conflict with what they are writing. Authors have the responsibility to respect these ethics and make the right choice. There are some criticisms for the print media. The printing press caused the loss of the active voice. Readers could no longer be participants and became part of the passive audience. Also, information from print media is often censored and comes from only a few sources. Therefore, the information is often limited or distorted. This was especially true through Gutenberg's time. Flipping through the pages of a newspaper or magazine was once a common practice. Although the hobby continues, the trends have shown a reduction in orders of print newspapers and books. Specifically newspaper circulation figures have dropped drastically as companies switch to the digital format. Print media faces the daunting task of trying to compete with digital formats which are usually free and easily available. Traditional newspapers and magazines face a sharply reduced ad market. In order to operate business, we can expect an increase in subscription prices. Print media does still have a future in countries like Canada. However, their role in the mass media has obviously diminished. Print media will continue to be influential in countries that are less developed. Developing countries lack the means to set up digital media and the infrastructure necessary to operate this media and often print media is used to distribute the message. Until computer technology becomes affordable for these people, print media will have a future.